Welcome back, gang, for lecture 10, part two, where in this part, in this part of our lecture, we're actually going to go through a sample problem where we get to apply a couple of different concepts that we've just learned about, such as relative humidity, the Antoine equation, and degrees of superheat. Now, just to recap from everything we've talked about so far, if you, let's say, have a, a liquid and vapor in equilibrium, you have, in, in the event that you have your partial pressure of your component, I, equal PI star, the vapor pressure of that component, the saturation pressure, you have saturation. In situations in which your PI is less than PI star, you're superheated, where there's some room to increase the amount of your liquid molecules in the vapor to reach saturation. And then if you have a situation where PI is less than PI, is, is greater than PI star, you would then have a situation in which there will be condensation because you have exceeded the saturation point for that gas in your particular system. And as just a little reminder, if you ever want to change the system, change the partial pressure or, or to induce condensation, what you can do is if you, in order to increase, let's say PI, you can increase the total pressure, which will increase your partial pressure of your component I. And if you want to, if you, another option is to decrease P star, and you do that by decreasing your temperature. Now, now that we've gone through all that, we're gonna do this example problem where I have a stream of air at 100 degrees Celsius and 5,260 millimeters of mercury, and this contains 10% water by volume. And for this problem, what I'd like you to do is figure out what is the relative humidity, at what temperature would the air stream be saturated with water vapor, and that really is, in, is asking what is the dew point temperature, and for the last part, what are the degrees of superheat for the system. Now, this might be the moment where if you want to, you can pause this video and try this out and solve it. And if you get stuck, we can go through it. And, but anyway, I'm gonna go through it right now in case you just wanna learn how to, how to approach these problems. So we're first gonna work on part A, what is the relative humidity of the system? So we're gonna remember that we have this airstream, it's at 100 degrees Celsius, and we have 5,260 millimeters of mercury, and it contains 10% water by volume. Now, as you might remember from part one of lecture 10, we have our relative humidity is equal to the partial pressure of water divided by the partial uh, divided by the vapor pressure of water. So what we're gonna do is we need to solve for both of these components. So we'll first start with PW star, and remember that that's at 100 degrees Celsius, and we can use the Antoine equation to help us solve this problem. And as a reminder, you would need to go to the appendix or the, uh, a table with Antoine coefficients in order to calculate your P star. And so for me, uh, we've got our Antoine equation, and looking at the, at the table, we've got certain values, and so I substitute those values in. And I also substitute the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius into our equation. This is one of them where the coefficients work when you have degrees Celsius and your partial, your P star will be in millimeters of mercury. So after doing your calculations for the right hand side, you'll get that log in the base 10 P star is equal to 2.88. And then if you exponentiate, what you'd see is that P star is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury. So we've now solved for PW star, which is great. We still need to work on our PW. So for PW, we're going to now look, we're going to use the Dalton's law where PW equals YW P total. And for this one, we know that the mole fraction of water is 10%, right? Because we can apply Amalgate's law where 10% water is taking up volume. So that is that would indicate that 10% of the moles are water. And so if we do PW goes 0.1 times our total pressure, 5,260 millimeters of mercury, we will then get our PW is equal to 526 millimeters of mercury. And now we can substitute the two values we've calculated into our relative humidity equation, and we will get a relative humidity of 69.2%. 
Now, moving on to part B, we're looking for our dew point temperature. So at what temperature would we be saturated with water vapor? And so for that, for our dew point temperature, we're gonna to need to figure out, we're gonna to need to drop our PW star to the point where it's equal to our current PW. So PW star needs to equal 526 millimeters of mercury. And so we'll need to solve for temperature. Now we can again use the Antoine equation to do this calculation. And we're now gonna substitute in all our known values. And this time around, instead of substituting in for a temperature, we'll substitute in for our P star where it's 526 millimeters of mercury. And so we sub substitute that value in, we can now rearrange everything to solve for T, and what, you'll, what you should get is a T of 90 degrees Celsius. And now that we've calculated our temperature, our dew point temperature, we can now move on and figure out what the degrees of superheat for the system are. And now what we'll do is our delta T, or uh, degrees of superheat is going to equal our temperature minus our dew point temperature. So for us, we'll substitute in and it's 100 degrees Celsius minus 90 degrees Celsius, and we're going to get 10 degrees of superheat. And that's going to wrap up this sample problem. And that's everything for this part two lecture. And that's going to conclude lecture 10. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for lecture 11.